What's your favorite scary movie? Check or treat! Pat from Pop Culture with Pat here with Emily and Caleb talking about Teacup on Peacock. Thank you guys so much for your time today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having us. You're very welcome. So, yeah, just to, to start things off for you guys, and we'll start with you, Emily, first. Uh, as far as when you just you guys first came across this project, what was it that really kind of drew you in first and made you go, you know, I really want to be a part of this series? Yeah, um, as soon as I got the first episode, I was hooked, and I just wanted to know what was going to happen next. So I just, you know, digged into the the character and uh, for the audition process and everything, and I just really fell in love with this this young Meryl who is starts off as this, you know, teenage girl and uh, throughout the series will just grow so much because she just has to, because uh, there's a lot going on and she just has to to help her family as much as she can. So yeah, I just, I just love the complexity of the character and um, um, yeah, I was just really hoping that I would get to do it and then I did. So very grateful for it all. Yeah, definitely get thrown into a crazy situation. And what about uh, for you, Caleb? For me, what made me, what drew me into this project was the script and who Arlo was as a person. And like, I could see myself in Arlo mm -hmm. and another, th and like the universe that Ian created with Geeka. Yeah, it's, it's really, you know, interesting so far getting to have gotten to sit down and, you know, watch like the, the episodes and really enjoying it. Now, as far as for you guys, and this time, you know, we'll start with you, Caleb, when you're sitting down and getting ready to kind of like build out your characters, what did you kind of do for, for these characters particularly? Did you come up with like a playlist? Did you come up with like a background, like a history of your character? How did you kind of create them? Uh, how I created Arlo is like I built a character off of what I knew about Arlo. Then the what I knew from what I knew about Arlo, I built a character pretty much. And what about for you, Emily? Uh so I I mean obviously started with reading the scripts. I always read them a couple of times and then um I have this whole process. I do I do a playlist. Uh, so I created this playlist for Meryl, which was had some of the songs that are in the show in it to kind of feel that that energy. But also there was a lot of Noah Khan, um, that kind of, of music for her helped me really connect with her. And then I have this little notebook for every character that I play that I just, you know, use it as like this little journal for them. And I just break all of the, the show and um, choose like specific moments that are pivotal for her and then go from there and then just, you know, trust the people that you're working with and have fun with it. Must be really interesting to like revisit that too. Like once you're done with the series and kind of yeah. go back to the journal afterwards. Yeah, I love it. And it's also because it's something, you know, it's like um, it's it's on paper, which I love. I, I love having my scripts on paper and everything. I just love writing. So, yeah, I, I keep those. <laughs> for all oh, yeah, I'm a. I'm a physical media person too. So I definitely like to have something, you know, physical if I can. So I, I totally yeah. understand that. And, and obviously you guys, you play brother and sister in the show. How did you guys develop, you know, that, that relationship and that chemistry between each other? Um, I think how we developed that chemistry was like, we bonded pretty quickly we and we just, we developed that by our friendship and like, we developed that brother sister relationship mm -hmm. and then once we got that friendship and that once we got that friendship it turned into a brother sister relationship on the show yeah. and that shows yeah we trusted each other mm -hmm. and uh that was really important you know and i just wanted to i know what it's like to be the youngest member of a of a ensemble cast and i just wanted him to feel like you know, like he was, he could trust me and that, you know, we could have fun with all of it. Um, and he did such a good job with it. So yeah, we had a lot of fun together and we're both, we both, I'm an older sister in real life. He's a little Younger. brother right. <laughs> in real life too. So we kind of got that part of our characters really quickly too, which helped a lot. And uh, yeah, and then the rest just happened and we, we got lucky for that. And just to kind of to wrap things up for you guys, like as an audience member, we're watching the series and we're getting bits and pieces of information about what's happening in the story in this world, episode by episode, kind of putting it together for you guys filming this or even maybe even like once you got the scripts, 
are you guys the type of people where it's like you like to kind of theorize what's going on as well as you're kind of filming the series or do you just like want all the answers you know right away like what are you like when it comes says like an audience member uh i i kind of liked the mystery of it all i kind of like liked theorize yeah like what would happen yeah next. we would talk about it and then it was always so exciting when we'd get the next few scripts and uh, like the the writing of ian is just so brilliant and it was like reading a really good book it really was so it'd just be it'd just be great when the email would come in and we'd be like we got the next two let's just sit down and read them and all of it was really exciting so yeah well, I can't wait for, for people to check out the series. Thank you guys so much for your time today. It was nice chatting with both of you. Thank you. Have a good day.